Hey, mathematicians, let's do your homework. Okay, so today, while we're doing our homework, Jaden challenged me to eat this toxic waste, hazardously sour candy. So we're going to see if I can last the entire homework while eating this candy. Okay, the first problem is that there are four points that are shown on the coordinate plane. Which point best represents the ordered pair negative 3, 1? So you have a couple of choices. I don't know how to open this candy. Number one is that you can actually graph it and see what point it matches up to. Number two is that you can at least eliminate a few answer choices by deciding which quadrant you think negative three, one is going to be in. All right, I got the candy. Let's see if I can manage this whole thing. Oh, that's sour. Okay. Wow. Um, we're starting with a negative number, and then we have a positive number. Sadly, that cannot be... Ooh, okay, Jaden, this was sour. This could not be in quadrant three, because that's all negatives. Quadrant four is positives, then negatives, so it's not going to be point Q either. We're going to have to choose between point M and point N. One of them is at negative one, positive three, and one of them is at negative three, positive one. So it looks like M is going to be our answer. Okay, next up. Which quadrant will negative 5, negative 8 be located in? Again, you can graph it. Or you can say, wait a minute, we just talked about these rules. Quadrant 1 is positive, positive. Quadrant 2 is negative, positive. Quadrant 3, my favorite one that looks like a sleepy owl, is negative, negative. So the negative, negatives, that's where we're at in quadrant 3. So this is going to be in quadrant which of the following points will be in quadrant four? Same deal. I would start by checking. Okay, there's quadrant four right here. Which one matches with a positive X and a negative Y? On to the back. Ooh. Which is a list of ordered pairs that represents points located in the shaded area? So all three dots have to be in this gray area. If there's even one dot that's on the line, or out in the white area, the whole thing is not your answer. So we have one, five. So unfortunately, the only way to do this one is to just graph them and see if they land in there. Starting on my x axis, I'm going to positive one, and then I'm going up one, two, three, four, five. It's just over the line, this point works. And then I have four, two. Starting at my origin, going over four, up two, Ooh, that dot is not in the gray. I'm not even going to check the last ordered pair. F is not my answer. So you're going to graph all three of these, all three G, H, J options. The minute you get one that's like, mm, that's not part of the gray area, you don't have to keep testing the rest of those points. You have to test all three in the correct answer to make sure that all three work. And again, I'll say if it ends up on that dark black line, not the number lines, not the axes, but like this line right here. If it's exactly on the line, it doesn't count. It has to be in the gray space. Last problem, because this is a really short homework. Three vertices. Ooh, that's a vocab word you might not have heard in a very long time, if ever. Three vertices of a rectangle are shown below. What are the coordinates of the fourth vertex? A vertex is one. Vertices are more than one. And they basically mean like the corners. So a rectangle looks like this, right? Well, not really, because that's not super straight, but you get the idea. There's a vertex, there's a vertex, there's a vertex, there's a vertex. I already see three of these here. I'm asking you, oops, if I drew straight, straight lines and connected the dots, would the dot go here? Would it go here? Would it go here? Where would this dot in the third quadrant be? in order to make a perfectly right-angled rectangle. So only one point will work. Mm, I can see two answers you're going to choose between because this is not in quadrant three and this is not in quadrant three. Those are no-nos. So you're choosing between B and D, and the only way to figure it out is to actually graph those two points and then like connect the dots into the rectangle to see which one is the fourth corner of that rectangle. 
And there we go. That's our whole homework. And Jaden, I made it. I'm still eating my sour candy. I did not die. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, we have a test on Friday.